Sancho is much likelier to leave Borussia Dortmund after the Euros, rather than before, due to current uncertainties and the lack of time to get a transfer done. If someone pays the fee of around 100 million euros, Sancho would be the domino to start transfer spending at Dortmund this IA according to Ruhr Nakrichten. Solskjaer has made Jadon Sancho a transfer priority this summer despite support from some Manchester United players for Jack Grealish as a signing at McGrath Mike via at that report high belief 140 million British pounds could lend Harry Kane but MCFC and CFC in Hunt Red Triangle pointed out Solskjaer would not hesitate to move for Ronaldo but Sancho more realistic Red Triangle pointed out Varane. Torres and Count among centre-back options Red Triangle pointed up Declan Rice main holding midfield target memo at Lorio Atuo. Dortmund are looking at options in light of the fact that Sancho will be allowed to leave, with Mufk in the driving seat to sign him. Chelsea have asked to be kept aware of his situation, but he is understood to remain set on joining Mufk as his top choice at Dean Jones Soccer. In the last four seasons Jadon Sancho has played on both wings for Borussia Dortmund, though more so on the left, and has been their main creator in a free-flowing offence. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will turn his attention to strengthening his squad after the Europa League final. With transfer priority Jadon Sancho expected to leave BVB for around 75 million British pounds. At McGrath Mike Memo, Dortmund are looking at potential new attacking options in light of the fact Jadon Sancho will be allowed to leave this summer with Manchester United in the driving seat to sign him. Manchester United Journal According to Dean Jones soccer rolled up newspaper David Moyes is desperate to bring Jesse Lingard back to West Ham on a permanent basis this summer rolled up newspaper Jesse Lingard is expected to keep West Ham waiting until after Euro 2020 before making a decision on his future. Jack Rosser rolled up newspaper Alex Tells has been made available on the market. Manchester United are ready to sell him this summer, but they will need a good offer to sanction his exit at Record Portugal via at Sport Witness. If we do buy Harry Kane, I don't think we should. Then Harry Maguire would be his club captain whilst the former would be the latter's national captain. I'm not knowledgeable enough to know if that's ever happened before so, has it? Rolled up newspaper recruitment staff at Muth have been so impressed with Po Torres and a strong performance against Muft might persuade bosses to make an offer. He has leapfrogged Sevilla's jewels count in the list of defensive targets for Musk. At Dean Jones Soccer rolled up newspaper Villarreal are still interested in Eric Bailey and could yet look to bring him back to the club if Po Torres leaves at Dean Jones Soccer. Question. If you could only negotiate for players in the bottom half of the table, who would you go for? Give me a list of three. Your budget is 100 million British pounds. Here's the table for reference. For me I'd go Grealish, 20M, Nito, Sander Berge, Anguissa, Kings, Johnston, Lamptey, 10 meters each, and Basama, 20 meters. Manchester United rank as Premier League's most valuable team at $4.65 billion. According to Sportico, those clubs MUFC, Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea, and Spurs are worth approximately $3.675 billion on average, while the remaining 14 teams in the EPL are valued at $3.7 million combined. One player that has really grown on me is Yves Bissauma. If he's available this summer I think United should look into him. I know Rice or Diddy are needed more in our team, but I wouldn't turn down Bissauma at police car light. Tom Heaton has agreed to join Manchester United this summer when his contract at Aston Villa expires at John Persmerer. It would take a fee of around 10 million euros for Roma to sign the man Gematic from Manchester United. The operation could be closed with the formula of a loan with a mandatory option to buy, at course 